What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving. Book entitled Lessons from a Non Custodial Father, Amazon Kindle Create Space. Types of women to avoid. So let's get right into it. Self absorbed. You should avoid a self absorbed woman because, like, self explanatory. She's, all, she's concerned about herself, everything has to do with her. You know, the excessive picture takers. The, you know, this is everybody got to know where you at. Everybody got to know what you're doing. Everybody got to know how you living. Your whole life has got to be on social media. You're, 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 you're out on a date, but you got to be on the phone telling people what you're doing on a date. You go to the movies with a motherfucker and you're holding a conversation while you're at the movies about some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Just go. You go out onto a date, and you're having a conversation, and the conversation is about you, 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 and you. Avoid those type of people. Just avoid those type of women, because they don't, they don't, they, they all, they don't even need you to date them. They dating themselves. They, they're not gonna be in a relationship with you. They're gonna be in a relationship with themselves. They. They're a waste of time. Um, I know it's gonna sound fucked up, but the sex, the sex kid, the hypersexual woman, avoid her because sex is 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 gonna always be her excuse and reward. You know, she that's all. That's like. That's her one trick. She's a one trick pony, you know. Instead of being um, your girlfriend or wife, she's gonna substitute that for fucking you. Instead of being there in your times of need, she's gonna not be around in your times of need and then come that come around after it's all over with and fuck you. Um, she's gonna think that to to her sex is gonna be a weapon if you did something. She didn't like. She's gonna not fuck you until you do something she likes. You know, if she do, if you do something that she likes, she's gonna fuck you as a reward for doing something she likes. And it's gonna be an unfulfilling relationship because, you know, you can only sex can only go so far. Or even even with the freakiest chicks who can learn a million new tricks, you're gonna feel like you just with a a useless individual. After a while, it's like, I know, I know. You did you cook breakfast? No, but I suck your dick. Okay. Right. Did you pay the light bill? No, but I give you this pussy. Okay, 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 okay. You know, what you, what you give me for Christmas? Some of this ass. That type of shit. You know. My, my best friend died. I got to go to the funeral. I need you to come with me. I just can't be there. I don't like funerals. I just can't. I just, I just dead people. So what the fuck are you here for? I'm going to fuck you when you get back home. Avoid the sex kid. The gold digger. Avoid the gold digger. Because... The gold digger only cares about money. And the problem with people, see, some people say it's okay, it's, it's not a thing, it's, it's okay to be a gold digger, but that's bullshit. Because gold diggers are usually lazy. Uh, gold diggers are usually opportunistic. Gold diggers are usually never satisfied. Gold diggers are usually spoiled brats, not even if they, whether they get things or don't. Because they're old and they throw stupid temper tantrums. And ask a gold digger, ask a gold digger what they've done for anybody else, and it ain't shit. Gold diggers don't even take care of their own fucking kids. So you gotta avoid people like that, because all they wanna do is take, 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 take for nothing. And sometimes the gold digger is the sex kitten, because you know. 
that's all they gonna do. You know, I gotta give them something to get something out of them, right? But they'll waste the time. They can't take care of shit. That's another thing about gold diggers that just they that's why they're habitual gold diggers, cause they can't take care of shit. They want you to spend all kinds of money on, on buying them shit, and they're going to break every fucking thing you buy them. They're going to fuck up every fucking thing you buy them, and they're going to complain and complain and whine and bitch and complain until they get some more shit out of you. And here's the other thing about gold diggers. Pointing that finger at your ass. Gold diggers don't even do that for themselves. They don't even... They don't have... They don't have... The, a gold digger would have higher expectations of you doing something for them than they would do for their damn self. So avoid them. The other type of woman to avoid is the argumentative woman. You know why? Because she can't live in a peaceful environment. This is the type of chick who, when you go have a good time, she gonna find something to be mad about. The type of chick who, when you call and say say hi. Text, I love you. Text, I miss you. Uh, 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 you just, you just sweating me. You thirsty. Okay, all right. And then when you say, "Fuck you, bitch," brrr, the phone gonna ring. You can hang that shit up. They gonna call you back to back to back to back to back until you answer. You gonna, the text message went from one word, whatever's a hot, uh, okay, to brrr, fucking novels, right? Brrr, cause they, cause they ready to argue. All of the good shit that, that, that you done that was ignored, all that shit's been ignored. But the argument, oh, they there. They there. You tell them, come on, come hang out tonight. Nah, I can't hang out. Say, fuck you. They're going to get in their car. They're going to drive three states over to knock on your door. We're going to talk about this. We're going to get to this conversation right now. We're going to argue all night long. Get, the, get rid of them chicks. Get rid of them chicks. Because they ain't going to never be happy. They ain't going to... All they're going to do is argue. That's what they like to do. That's what gets them riled up in life. I don't know what the fuck wrong with them, but that's what's wrong with them. They just like arguing. And then eventually you're going to want to knock the bitch out. And guess who's going to be in jail? Your ass. So, avoid. Um, another person to avoid... Is the <laughs> is the independent pre spinster? What I mean by that is, a woman who's constantly telling you how strong and independent she is, but she's constantly wanting to live in chivalry and a real man do this and as the man you should do this and as the man you should do that and as the man you should do that. But I don't need no man. I ain't fucking with no man because you men ain't about shit. And, but but as a man you need to do because they hypocrites. They, and I call them pre spinsters because they they wind up not realizing how old they get. They playing this hypocrisy game so much, you know, feminists, all kinds of other women like that, you know. They play this hypocrisy game so much that they don't realize, okay, that was your 20s, gone. They still strong, independent, strong, independent women needing chivalry. 30s go by, gone. 40s go by, gone. And you know, they're like, oh, well, I ain't never been married. Really? 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 How many people did you run off? I only ran off 192 men. That's not bad. It's not like it's 193. Avoid her. Because she's never going to be a team player. Never. Because she's strong and independent when it's convenient. And then she's she's a dainty little flower who needs help. And she's retarded and, and don't know how to do nothing when it's convenient. And... And all that's going to do is just drive you crazy. Avoid her. Avoid her. And the most important one to avoid is the free spirit. Free spirited people are, are assholes. Because free spirited people, I'm blowing in the wind. I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I'm not doing anything, really. Because there's some unreliable, irresponsible, unrealistic, immature, impulsive people. They're all over the place. 
You know, everything is about, oh, I don't feel, I didn't feel like that. Oh, I didn't feel like that. The feeling didn't move me. Oh, my God. My, my, my zodiac sign said I shouldn't do this today. Let me explain something to you, Kay. The lights don't give a fuck about your feelings. The mortgage don't give a fuck about your feelings. Your other bills don't give a fuck about your feelings. If you were supposed to do something, do the shit. It is because it, it, free spirited people make up excuses to not do shit all the time, and the excuses are so retarded. Because as an adult, it, 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 you get to an age where nobody ain't trying to hear that shit. You know, I was supposed to go pay the light bill, and, and I saw a butterfly come across my windshield, and I just, oh, I just wanted to sit down and look at the stars. Bitch, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Ain't no stars out. Only star out is the sun. What the fuck are you talking about? Why you ain't gonna pay the fucking light bill? This, but the stars are so beautiful now. You know what? You're right. The stars are beautiful. Get get, in the, get your fucking car and go live in there and get the fuck from around me. I need a place to stay. No, you need to look up at those stars. Go look at the stars for the rest of your fucking life. All right? Appreciate you. You know, and those are the the ex the excess vacation thrill vacation takers and thrill seekers who need to always go see something else. I just need to experience this and experience that. It's funny how much you motherfuckers need the experiences, but y'all ain't y'all can't experience shit in y'all own hometown. Never you, you never noticed that. I'm just saying, I'm out, man. Boy, I'm, I guess I'm a mean asshole this Sunday.